Good day, everybody. So, so going over the steps. Uh, first, you name it. You know, you feel it. Uh, you relax into it. And then you name the emotion. Once you name the emotion, try to understand why you're feeling it. Uh, after you're done understanding why you're feeling it, um, then go into um, getting to know more about yourself, why you're feeling it. After you're done with that, um, that's the letting go process, which is where we left off in video number one. So, um, letting go is just, once you understand it, once you learn from it, um, and you learned what you needed to learn from it, and you understand, and you know why you're experiencing this emotion, you learned from it. You learned it. After you learn it, you let it go. I remember uh, a couple months ago, I was walking down this the, this road, and I had this kind of like short, kind of love affair with this girl, and uh, she was only here for a brief period of time, um, and then she had to leave. And she went back home, and I was like, "What could I have done differently to keep her here?" You know. For us to be together because we got along really 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 well and um i was like we could continue doing the messaging thing you know da, 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 da. i'm like yeah we could keep doing that but you thinking about it all the time you're holding on to something from the past that no longer exists what could I have done? What should I have done? What what if? What if? What if? As my buddy Ben Bergeron would always say, I could have and I should have are slivers of self doubt and living in the past, which are both really bad things. Um, so um, I was like, why are you holding on to something that no longer exists? And every time you hold on to something in the past that no longer exists, you're doing damage to yourself and you're being hurtful and abusive towards yourself. So learning from it and then letting it go. Why are you trying to hold on to something that no longer exists? And after you've done letting it go, Then you move on. You're just like, all right, time for me to move on and enjoy my life. Um, there's this really cool quote from Tony Robbins, since I mentioned him in uh, video number one. Um, I study everybody, even though Tony's kind of gone the money route, whatever. Um, uh, back in his non-money route days, <laughs> He was talking about these people from Fiji and how he spent a lot of time in Fiji. And he's like, these local people in Fiji, they laugh, they love, they don't care about money, they don't care about economics or success. They're just happy. And they laugh and they love. And they're just the happiest people in the world. And he's like, when I went to Fiji, I was trying to do all these things for them. And the Fiji locals was like, what are you talking about, man? We're so happy. Whatever. And, um, and then, uh, he was talking about like these, you know, uh, Western people like Americans and Europeans that go to Fiji and they, you know, for the last couple of months or years, they're like rushing around, rushing around, trying to get money, trying to get money, trying to get money or like whatever to go on vacation and escape, whatever. And, uh, so they can finally sit on the beach and be happy. <laughs> and they spend like nine months or nine years doing it. And, uh. And the Fiji guy says, why well, wait the nine years? <laughs> why don't you just sit on the beach right now and just appreciate it, dude? Um, 
Yeah, so you don't have to hustle and bustle to appreciate life. You just sit on a couch and, or a bed or on the floor. Just appreciate it. You know, just be grateful for the little things. Um, they've done studies on people that have gone through like mass atrocities and, and loss and, you know, losing their children and war and all these terrible things. And, uh, the one things that they focus on are the little things, you know, you know, the one, the one thing that they miss are the little things, the things that they would never think that they would ever miss. You know, there's this one story, Brene Brown was telling about this couple, they were married and they had this little kid who was like five years old. And this little kid, he would always go into the backyard and shut the screen door going into the kitchen and to the backyard. And that was like his thing. That was like his calling card, opening the door and slamming the door. And, and his mom and his dad used to be like, why do you have to slam the door? Just shut the door. You can just close it quietly. And the kid just thought it was so funny that he would just slam the door. Well, anyways, the kid died. Um, when he was like five years old and, um, and, um, you know, now that the parents lost their son, they take turns, um, at the door for minutes and they just slam the door just to remember their son. It's crazy. So yeah, appreciating the little things in life is extremely important. And whenever you are going through a day, never think, I have to do this, I have to do that. You know, get to the point where you could just say, I get to do this, I want to do this. Even if it's doing dishes. You know, just think about the fact that you have hands and arms. You know, there's this other woman, she was dying of cancer. She had a one-year-old baby and she was going through chemo and she had only like a couple of weeks to live and she couldn't move. She couldn't get out of bed, totally weak. And uh, everybody else in her family was taking care of the baby. And, um, and one day, like close to her death, uh, when she was like too weak to even like lift up her hand, she said, I would give anything right now to change my daughter's dirty diaper. You know, you don't have to change a dirty diaper. You get to. Anyways, guys, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, and that's it. That's the last step. You know, uh, moving on. Be grateful for the little things. Just started raining. Oh my gosh. Alright, guys, have a great day. Peace.